Hi, this is Nick with Wolfman Repairs, and today we got Major League Baseball with Ken Griffey Jr. All right. Now, me and my best buddy played the Super Nintendo version of this for hours. I mean, hours and hours and hours on end. This was one of our favorite games to play together. So, this one I bought as not working. It's for the Nintendo 64. It's, um... It doesn't have any writing on it, which is nice. And it's not missing any screws, which is also nice. The uh, edge connector here on the cartridge looks okay. So let's jam it into the N64 and see what it's doing. How many are you, N64? Hmm. All right, we'll jam it in anyway. We get nothing. Just make sure it's not our N64 or a capture card because that's been giving me issues lately. Not the N64, but the capture card. All right, all right, all right. We got nothing again. Hang on a second. Got to mess with the capture card. There we go. It could have been the N64 that time. I don't know. So let's throw Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball back in. Nothing. 007. Double O seven. All right. So let's pop it open. And see what we got going on inside. Conveniently, there's only one screw. Ah, it's one of them big games. We're also missing our screws here. There's no battery, which is pretty cool. There's a spot for it. So I don't know if this came with the battery originally. Oh! Oh, would you look at that? The tabs on either side are broken. What is that? Oh, is this board broken? Whoa, hello. Wait a second. Why why is this out? Oh, wow. The board is broken everywhere. Wait, this one's out too. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Oh, you too? All right. You want to join the party? How about you? Sweet. Now, there was a battery in here for sure. You could tell by, by the way it is. Wow, we got a lot of... We got a lot of work to do on this one, is what we got. Yeah, the whole board has been broken this way. Well, it looks like someone took sandpaper to the to the pins here, or edge connector, or whatever you want to call it here. Don't use sandpaper, please. It looks like we got some broken traces here, too. All right, well, uh, I guess before we put this, or solder or anything, back together... I need to get a picture to see where these chips go and all that. I mean, I could figure out the orientation. They go like this, orientated. But, you know, I don't know if this person put these back in the right way or not. I'm just going to put them off to the side for now. And I'm sure we can still test continuity and all that. I'm going to grab my meter. I don't know how this happens to these games like how do you break the edge off unless you're taking it apart all right let's see hmm. 
How am I going to do this? I have no chips. Well, I guess I could test around here. This person's repair seems actually okay. Yeah, because this should uh, all be ground here. Yeah, so the repair they did, I mean, I would probably have done the same. It looks like we're missing a trace that goes up this way from this pin to here and from here to here and all that. Wow. It's just a, a lot to do on this board, looks like. I think the first thing we need to do is get our chips back in. Because some of them, they go to these little vias here. And the it looks like they're broken off and all that. All right, so let me look up a picture of what this game is supposed to look like and get these chips in the correct orientation, location, that sort of thing. All right, so here is uh, what I got going on. So it looks like this chip is probably the game. That goes here. It's got a little notch. Right here, I don't know if you can see it, a little gold notch. That's where this gold, this notch goes for the game. You see this notch here. And this must be the RAM. Just trying to see if there's anything that I need to fix on here before I put these silies back in, because they're already desoldered. I don't want to have to do that all over again. I'll take this one out. Yeah, there's a trace from here to here. So let's see if that has continuity. Doesn't seem to. You know what? Let's get the microscope out and let's fix every single trace that we can and then we'll go from there. Let me get these little chips out of the way so I don't break them. Microscope incoming! Alright, here's that area I was talking about under that main chip and it, this trace is all sorts of broken so we're definitely going to need a wire from this via let me get a pointing apparatus so I can show you this one right here all the way up to this this one here and we have to see if we have continuity on this one to all the way down here so I think the first thing we do is let's scrape away a little bit of the solder mask on this guy and see if we have continuity all the way up to the uh, To the top of this trace. Right, let me just grab my meter. Whoa! It's 
Sorry about that. Why is everything hairy? Okay, let's go up to the top. And we do not have continuity from here to here. So we'll have to fix that one first. Just get a little IPA in here, get this by via via thing cleaned out. Let's see what's on the other side of the board right there. So that looks like it is our little hole here for the chip. Oh wait, <laughs> it's right above it. It's this one here. So we'll check, to make sure we have continuity on both sides as well. Let's do that right now. Let's just go from one side to the other. You might not be able to see this because uh, I won't be picking the board up. Just give me a second. Let's see if I can show it to you. You know what? I can use the camera right here. <laughs> And we do have continuity through the board. So that's good at least. So we don't have to run a wire through the board from this via. But we have to get something from that via to up to this top via here. And let's see what's uh, if we have continuity from the top via. To the one underneath it. Oh, oh. I wish I had like five hands at this point. Come on. Okay. Oh, you can't see. I'm using my chest to hold it. Okay, we have continuity through that as well. So, we just need to restore continuity from this side, this via here to this one here. So let's do that. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape off some more of the solder mask here so that we get a good connection. And up here I'll probably uh, remove whatever they got going on there this is just a little IPA alright I just put the game in a board holder figure that'd be better for everyone to see and for it not to move around on me, a little flux out on this here via. Hmm. Solder does not want to stick to that. Probably needs to be scraped a little more. Alright, let's try again. A little more flux this time. Alright, well Flux only wants to stick on that one little point. I am thinking I'm going to try to use some uh, enameled wire. Let's see if I'm able to get this wire to stick. Oop. Had it for a second there. Okay, 
Sweet. Got it on there. Let's try to attach the wire on the top part. Just gotta use this old repair here. See if I can do that. Alright, is that on there? Sweet. Okay, let's see if we got continuity now. From here to here. Alright, and we do. Okay, let's just cut off our excess. Now this is enameled wire, so it shouldn't it shouldn't interfere if it touches the chip. So we're probably just gonna leave it like this for now. All right, let's see what else we got going on this front side of the board. Let's start from the uh, top left and work our way down. Now, there's not much on the top left here, so I will fast forward through some of this until we find something interesting. I found something interesting. <laughs> uh, that repair looks okay. We're going to keep, keep on moving on. Yeah, they just tried to solder the board back together, which I mean I would have done too, but I probably would have used a piece of uh, what you call it, solder wick. So we're probably just going to leave that for now. See if there's any other places that need repairs. And this is our repair we just did. Uh, let's see if we have continuity from. Uh, this pin this via here all the way down to here so let me grab, get some to scrape this via off with so we can see if we have continuity because it is broken excuse me repair Alright, so one on here and one up. Oh, yeah, I'm touching it already. So we we do have continuity. So we don't have to worry about that meaning repaired. I think we're all good on the front side. Wait, let's check these. Now nah, those look like they would have continuity. We can check them anyway. So All right, this one here goes up this way. Yeah, we have continuity. Yeah, those wouldn't be breaks. They look they look fine. They look a little rusty. This here near the 40, this trace always gets damage from that uh, plastic piece but it's fine in this case all right so I think the front side is okay now should we go back on here and try to strengthen this up a bit more I mean I guess we could but like you know, I'm pushing on it and it's not budging so I'm assuming that that's gonna be okay all right let's flip it over and see what the back looks like okay and here's what the back looks like yay <laughs> so this this here pad's gone so that's good so we'll have to run a wire like they got here same thing with this one and this one So that should be shouldn't be too bad once we get that in there. This one is also like hanging on by a thread. 
so we'll see how that solders out if if need be we'll also run a wire and this one's gone as well these pads probably ripped when they pulled the uh, the chips out oh man we got some carnage we got this one that's uh, kind of sort of there we got this one that's missing sort of there kind of missing we only need like a quarter of it right okay so those seem um, good <laughs> these are alright yeah, let's check the uh, pins or the edge connector of this cartridge and I have bumped into the thing yeah this was definitely sanded down with sandpaper look at that you can see the lines going across alright so let's get the microscope out of here for a second um, just so that we could get the chips back into this game and then we'll come back and we'll run little wires for this guy and these guys and all that so hold on a second microscope outgoing all right so let's go ahead and solder this these chips back in hopefully the correct way around all right so that's what we're looking for get our game here get our ram CIC chip and the I don't know what that is all right we're just gonna flip it over and now we can just solder in the legs I'm gonna give get my fan because I don't want to breathe this in <laughs> so we'll get a little loud but it will save my lungs hopefully kind of can we can we can you cooperate with me this is why I don't use it all right before we put the fan on get the soldering going might as well hit everything with flux might as well hit everything with flux <laughs> all right flux wants to play it the hard way we could do it the hard way come on get out get out Woo! more flux the better prefer it to be where it needs to be not all over the place thank you all right now well, that looks like a complete mess oh geez I need new flux getting all over the place it's worse than any sees all right let's solder it all back in
All right, everything's all soldered back in. Let's clean it off with some IPA. Put this here napkin thing over first. Grab a little brush and a whole lot of IPA because we used a whole lot of flux. This should help lift off that flux and get stuck on this here tissue. Because that was a crazy, crazy amount of flux. All right, I do see we have a bridge right here. So we will fix that. Come back in with the soldering iron. Boop. Just gotta give it a good old boop. I know we take flux off of this thing for days now. There's so much flux on it. Okay. All right. So let's get the microscope back in here and let's see uh, what traces need to be fixed. Microscope incoming again. All right. So we're back under the microscope and you can see we need three wires so far. So let's go ahead and cut up some wires, get them installed. Flux. I'm going to reuse this wire. All right, I think that did it. All right, so we got all those, all three of those lines repaired. Let's see what else needs to be repaired on this. Now we still got a lot of flux on this board because someone went crazy with the flux. I don't know who did that. This might be a little hard to see. Let's try cleaning it up a bit more. That's better. Uh, this one is not making contact, this one at the end. Let's do the same procedure for this guy. Okay, that one's solid. Let's go down to here. Okay, this is going to need a little scratching on these three two points this one here and this one here Okay, let's see if we could just use like a big ball of, of uh, solder. Probably not. Let's just put a wire in there. <laughs> let's get some flux on there too because it needs it.
All right, those seem okay now. Let's keep going. Okay, I think we got, well, let's just keep going before I say anything. <laughs> I think we got it all. I think we're all good now. Let's just go back this way, just make sure. Uh, this one here. That one seems good. But we probably should put a wire just in case. This is This is the one I'm talking about right here wire from there to there. Okay. I think we got them all. Let's uh, cut off the excess and I guess slam it back together and see what we got. Microscope, outgoing. Okay, so here are our repairs. Kind of extensive. But I feel like it should be okay now. So, Let's just slam it back together, throw it in the console, cross our fingers, and hope that it works. And then if it doesn't, we'll, we'll look at other things. But let's just try it out. Whoa. I think you go this way. You go this way. You, you, we don't need you. All right. Come here, Nintendo. In you go, Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball. We got nothing. Let's just make sure it's not the Nintendo or my capture card. Okay. So 007 works. Alright. The other thing we should do is check continuity on all the pins along the edge connector there and see if uh, we got continuity everywhere. So let's let's do that. All right, I found a continuity issue. So this one right here, right before the 40, hopefully this isn't focused, it goes all the way under this chip to a another via, this one right here. But the via to the pin 
has no continuity. So I need to run a wire from the via to the pin. Just like I did these up here. So we're going to do that real quick. And then we'll try it again. The side iron shut off. Must have overheated. I've had it on for a while now. Okay. Let's see if we got continuity now. Oh, let's trim off the excess first. And we do. Sweet. All right. Let me keep on checking continuity and I'll get back to you. So I didn't hit record because I paused it for a second. We didn't have a continuity on this line right here, uh, right next to C2 here. And that was the sixth pin on this chip here. We did not have continuity because we didn't have a connection between these two points, the little via here and the chip here. So, cut off the little excess we got going on. There's another wire for some reason. Get out of here. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. It's not going to do anything. All right. So I'm going to keep on going, checking the continuity, and I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay. We got continuity all in the front now. Let's check the back. Okay, so it doesn't appear like we have continuity in between this one and five here. I cannot see it with my eye, so we're gonna get the microscope out again. But before we do that, we'll check the rest. Yeah, so I don't see where the break is um, on this here line. Oh. Oh, we do have continuity. That's weird. Well, we might not have continuity with this via here. Because I don't, I'm not getting a beep on that. So we'll run a little piece of wire from the little via to the pin. I figured I'd give you guys a couple different views on this. You know, under the microscope, not under the microscope. So you can do this without a microscope. It's just a little more difficult. Let's just check this again. Yeah, we don't have continuity to the to the via.
Okay, let's check it now. Hmm. We still don't have continuity. This sounds like a job for the microscope. Let's get the microscope back out. Microscope incoming for the third time. All right, so now we can see it a little better on the microscope. Uh, we did not get any solder on the via. That is why we're not getting any continuity. So let's try to solder it. Now, I'm not sure if that worked either. So let's. Uh, Check continuity real quick. And we don't have any continuity. But we should. <laughs> Alright, let's get that wire out of there. Let's wick off what we have going on there because it didn't work. And uh, let's take a better look. All right, now between the pin and the via, we should have continuity. Uh, let me get this wire out of the way. And we do. Okay, so I probably filled the gap with solder. But between here, sorry it's moving, and here we do not have continuity. I do not see any breaks though. Let me get this under a board holder so that I could touch it and it doesn't move all over the place. That would be helpful for everybody, wouldn't it? Yeah, like I said, I don't see any breaks between this and here. But there is one, obviously. Okay, well, why don't we put this wire back down and just solder that wire in place. Sounds like a plan. Because this looks like all the uh, solder mask has been removed already. So. I'd like to scrape it a little more just to check. Okay, get the soldering iron in here. Now let's try testing continuity. Okay, now we have continuity. Let's just see. You know, continuity on the via too. All right, sweet. Let's cut off our excess, and we have continuity everywhere else, so we should be good to go. Hopefully. I mean, I feel like I said that before. <laughs> but since we got the microscope back out, let's just check our other repairs here that we made without the microscope, and you can kind of see how it it kind of looks horrible. So, so we're going to hit that up with uh, the brush, some IPA, and see what it looks like underneath all that flux that we got going on there. So this is the one of the repairs we made without the microscope. And you can see it doesn't even look like we got any solder on that via. And same thing with this one. This is the other one that we did without the microscope. We got a little solder on that, but it's almost touching. It's almost touching this here. Oh, is that just the reflection? Yeah. So let's uh, let's hit it up with a little more solder on all these points and make sure that everything is good to go. We also need to put more flux on this. Probably should have dried off the IPA first, but you know, whatever.
Yeah, it might, might be as good as we can get it. Let's try this one here. Oh, there goes our repair. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Let's take our repair off of this one too and let's do it right. Gotta get in there with the tweezers. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to scrape up this VO a bit more. Make sure that we can get our solder to stick. Perfect. Excellent. That is much better than the way it was. And we'll just check it for continuity real quick. And we have continuity. And let's cut off the excess. And get it away from that. Perfect. Let's go back to the next one, the other one. Let's try to get the same result. Check for continuity. And let's just check for continuity along this line too, because this doesn't look that great either. Okay, sweet. All right, cut the excess off of this one. I think we could slam it back together now, finally. And it, and it might work. Let's hope. Fingers, toes, eyebrows, just cross everything. There's so much flux on this board, it's ridiculous. Microscope, outgoing. All right, and there's all of our repairs. Let's dry this board off because there's IPA all over it now. Let's slam it back together.
Let's see what we got now. All right, come here, Nintendo. Let's do this. Come on, Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball. All right. <laughs> Woo oh, man. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, I want to press start. Yeah, whatever. Let's just play. Come on. Sure. Yep. Yep. Play ball. Lead off batter, the second baseman. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I should probably swing at a pitch. There you go. Ah. Ah, okay. One more. One more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. All right. Well, apparently I'm no good at this game. <laughs> but we, at least we got it working. That's crazy. This board is in horrible condition. But we got it running. So that's pretty neat. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it very much. And we'll see you next time. Oh.